What's up guys, I'm G Lewis. You tuned into my track to track interview for 21.3. 21.3. Um, originally it started out as chapter 21, but it took me a while to finish writing it. And I'm like, all right, well, I was writing about different experiences after 21. So I'm like, if we put a point, a decimal there, point three, it'll be like a sign of continuance. Because it's basically based off of like a Basically, everyday problems, every everyday problems, the good times, the bad times, whatever it may be. And it didn't all happen at 21, it was 22, and well, now I'm about to be 23 and I'm finishing up, just finishing up the album. So that's how 21.3 came about. Get Away, Get Away is probably my favorite song on the CD, one of my favorites, because it was written from like a, such a real place. Get Away is like that song to the struggle, to any struggle, not necessarily uh, hood or poverty, but any struggle every day. Is, it simply says, I just want to get away from all of the hate and the shame, get high and never come down. And I feel like everybody at some point feels like they just want to get away. And uh, I probably started writing that song back in 2012. Uh, one of my friends were killed in Chicago, uh, Tay, and uh, I started writing it around that time, but it just wasn't right. Like I had to, it took me two years to actually finish the song because I would just come back to it, come back and forth to it. And uh, we finally got it. Uh, it was produced by Ken Ken. Ken Ken killed it. I listened to that track and it just spoke it just spoke to me. I was able to like finish it. I cut it the next day. I bought the track that night. And uh, yeah, it's just it's that it's that struggle song, man. It, it can help you get through whatever you're going through. It's not like necessarily sad, but uh, it's that it's that song. That's why it's a single. And I, I kind of battled with uh, releasing it as a single because it wasn't necessarily like the turn up track that everybody, you know, like put out the club banger first, make people dance. It just was real. And I'd rather my artistry be uh, based around realness other than like, you know, the turn up or that hit. Superpower is that turn up song, man. That brought That song brought out the dog in me. It's basically a club turn up. It's not too much thought behind it. I didn't. It, I didn't take too long to write it at all. Uh, I think the streets. The streets will definitely love Superpower. I'm, I think that's gonna be the second single. Um, it was produced by Miser. Miser Beats. Shout out to him. And uh, it's probably. What the second song I got with a feature on, I, I had my guy Aim, Aim High, feature on it, because he does that type of turn up rap. So it was easy to reach out to him and put him on the track. Lay You Down is definitely a R&B influence. It's 90 90s R&B influence, which had a big, big toll on my life. Like it's the only R&B that I really listen to. You got the Silks, the Drew Hills, the Boys, the Men's, and all that. It's that timeless record. It's, um, it says, uh, if we take it there, meaning like, if we take that step forward, then like, you can't, I can be faithful, but only if we take it there. It's like a guy that talks about how he does him, they have this, relationship and they have a, a intimate relationship but they're not together but he lets her know that if we were to be together then I can be serious and I can like put everything aside but it's also it's that baby making track that we don't really hear today so I wanted to stay true to R&B roots and not like just put out what people wanted to hear again and just just go straight 90s with it and I think I did that like a drug is uh it's probably the root of 21.3 uh it was the first song that i recorded and i regret releasing it so soon because now i have a full project but um like a drug is like 
It's that song. It's I think anybody that's like really parties can relate to like a drug. It was uh written about somebody that I remember like at one point in my life I I just party, 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 party. And she was with me like during that time. So that's why it says uh uh, take my hand, I lift you up, girl, your love is like a drug. It's like we had each other's back during that time. I mean, nothing was official. And I'm sure when she sees this interview, she'll know exactly who she is. But I won't say her name. But, um, yeah, I had my boy FaZe get on the track. Because if anybody know, it was a it was a no-brainer. If, if anybody knows drugs, partying, and women, it's, it's him. Hope I didn't get him in trouble. But, uh... Yeah, that, that's definitely a, a hit. Can I Live? Can I Live is basically, it speaks for itself. You Like today, social media rules everything. So you get a lot of people that uh, go on your Facebook, go on your Instagram, they'll check you out and everything. And um, it's this old saying that I'm with you. Like, I'm down for you until you become the competition. So, Can I Live is basically that. Like, you, uh, people will go all on your social media, look through all your pictures, and they won't like it. Because they see, you, you know, you, you're starting to do too well. So, uh, I wrote that song definitely out of spite. That song was had a lot of say, say jabs in it. But it, it was what I was feeling at the time. It was like that message, like, why can't we all be successful? You know, it's it's money out there for everybody. It's success out there for everybody. And um, unfortunately, people don't want to see you do too well. So it was a lot of people around the time that I wrote Can I Live that I thought would be there like all the way to the end to actually see my success or follow, follow my journey with me at least. But those people were the ones that fell back and those are the people that I knew for the longest. So, uh, I, Can I Live is definitely a vent song for me. Cry For You. Cry For You is probably the most vulnerable song on the track, on, on the uh, CD. Cry For You, it talks about a, a relationship and not mine particularly, I'm single, but I had two very close people to me. I was close to the guy and the girl, so like they both would talk to me about things and I made a song out of it. I told them the song was about them too, so it's no surprises. But uh, they would talk to me about it and they actually inspired Cry For You. It talks about a relationship with egos and um, the guy is kind of prideful and is afraid to be vulnerable. And she's, she's the same way, and, but she doesn't realize it. So I'm like, well, in the, at the end of the day, you'll cry for him and he'll cry for you. So I kind of just put the two together. Like the first verse I'm saying his story. No, the first verse I'm saying her story, and the second verse I'm saying his story. And it just came together. And um, it's like, that song is like, it's so vulnerable. Like people are afraid, I don't know what it is with this generation, but you are afraid to be vulnerable. People are afraid to, like being vulnerable is not cool. Being in love is not cool no more. And I don't know why. So that's, that's what that song was. It was like just pure vulnerability. And it turned out, I didn't think I would like it because I wasn't, you know, it wasn't based from me. Like it wasn't my story. But that's probably like one of my favorite songs on the CD as well. And then the last song is uh, Pandemonium. Pandemonium is definitely a club banger. It's uh, 
it's the it's just that track it's that uh that throwback like e40 i love e40 he's like one of the most original artists i mean he's not like the biggest artist out right now but nobody sounds like e40 e40 made his own lane and um it's just a, it's that track like two tracks boom 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 and it just was, was like a blank canvas for me to just turn up like i was i realized i got a filthy ass mouth on that song like i was saying some ratchet shit so uh yeah that, that's the club banger um it didn't take too much thought it literally it's like put your ass in motion shoddy shoddy cause promotion it's like it didn't take too much thought but it is a banger and i got to rap on that song too as well so that's that's one of my favorites and a lot of women like that song as well <laughs> Thanks for watching my track to track interview. My name is G Wills. Hope y'all are like hyped up about the album because I am. I think it's some of my best work. So stay tuned.